Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Yes, you read the title right, I am moving again. As I mentioned in, I think, one of my first vlogs about Copenhagen, my first rental was only for two months and these two months are over. I've already been two months in Copenhagen, which is kind of crazy to think about, but luckily I found a room quite quickly within like the first week of looking for one. And once the 1st of April hit, I had to pack my bags once again and move to my new room. I'm gonna stay in this room until the end of my Erasmus, which means that I can finally relax and don't have to think about more apartment hunting. I've been packing for the past one and a half hours and I would say I'm pretty much... No, I can't say that. I'm not done. But it feels like I'm pretty much done since all of my clothes are in my big suitcase and the small suitcase is also almost full. I have definitely more things now than when I moved in, so I'm pretty sure it won't fit the way it all fit when I moved to Denmark. But my new place is really close by, so I'm planning to like just walk back and forth. Hopefully only two times, but if it's gonna be three times, it's gonna be fine. But I've now reached the point in packing where I'm so unmotivated because it's only little things left. So yeah, that means two months have been officially over that I've been here in Denmark and it kind of marks my halfway of being here. Not exactly, I still have for sure three months left and maybe I'm gonna extend my stay for another month since I don't have anything to do in Germany. But that all just kind of depends on how happy I am here. <laughs> I had a great time the past two months, absolutely. But I came here with a certain set of expectations, especially since I've already been on an Erasmus and I wished a lot of things were different on my first Erasmus. So I came here with like a certain amount of expectations and just a few wishes. And I feel like I've been kind of slacking to like put myself out there and fully live my Erasmus study abroad life because I've became so comfortable in just in my day-to-day -day routine that I don't really get out as much as I would like to. So I'm actually excited to be moving because that kind of gives me a new and clean slate of like starting again and kind of making more of the time. I've, I've been, actually I shouldn't be too hard on myself because I am going out every week. Like it's not like I'm spending a whole week in my room and don't socialize at all, but I feel like I could do more. And I'm just gonna go and quickly make lunch because I'm bored and hungry. So we're gonna fix both of these issues at once. And then I'm probably just gonna watch YouTube and Grace Anatomy and just really chill before I finish packing up. <laughs> It is 7.30 a.m. which means I'll need to go in around 10 minutes and honestly it doesn't look like I'm moving out. <laughs> I do have my two suitcases right there and they're fully packed so I'm gonna go with them to the new place and then I'm gonna come back and pack like all of the little things that are flying around and also like stuff that I have in the fridge and just in my pantry. Um, I'm also gonna pack that up once I'm back. So we're gonna go get the keys, empty out the suitcases and come back and then finish up the rest of the packing. I'm also sorry that I'm talking so quietly, but it's 7.30 on Easter Monday, so everyone is sleeping except for me. And now I have to drag my suitcases through the whole apartment and hope that it's not gonna be too loud. I made it! I'm in my new room. 
and I'm so excited about it. My flatmate just left. She has a busy day today, so I have the apartment for myself the whole day. But yeah, this is... This is my new room and it is so nice. I love this apartment. Also the interior, chef's kiss. Honestly, I love it. And the biggest plus here is I have curtains. So that hopefully means I can go back to sleeping through the whole night. I felt like a baby. Like I woke up every few hours because something was happening. Like, I was like a newborn, just couldn't get through one night with proper sleep. But anyways, I'm so excited! at the new apartment, so let's unpack. I am so tired. You don't even know. I slept so little tonight. <sighs> okay. Let's unpack. I finished unpacking all of my stuff, finally. I am so tired. I've been chilling on the couch for the past hour, just watching YouTube. Tomorrow starts uni again, but we currently do like solo work, so we don't actually have to show up to uni. Or at least I hope so, because I put a hairdresser appointment tomorrow at 12. So I can't go to uni. So I hope I understood that right. So yeah, by the way, guys, I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow. I'm a bit nervous, not about how I'm gonna look as long as it's executed right, because I'm gonna get bangs again. If you've been on my channel for a while, for a long while actually, I've had bangs for a really long time. But the past two years, it's been two years, guys, that I haven't had bangs, which for me is insane because I literally thought that the last time I had bangs was like half a year ago. But then I checked in my camera roll and that's when I realized it's been such a long time since I last had bangs. So it's really time again. Okay, I got ready and in around half an hour I'm gonna go to the hairdresser. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit nervous because I really hope it's gonna turn out the way I want it. But we just need to start trusting other people whose literal job it is to cut hair or do anything basically. I don't know why I have more trust in myself than the people who do it on the daily basis. Like, what's up with that? No, it's fine. It's honestly not that deep. It's just hair. Right now, this is obviously, it's still a hair set since I have a lot of layers, but you can clearly see it's like, I cut it once and then it just grew. It doesn't look like an active decision anymore. So by getting a hairstyle that is a bit more, not out there, I just get bangs. I talk like I'm doing something super crazy. But just like to get a hairstyle that is clearly connected with an active decision that you wanted that hairstyle, I think immediately makes the hairstyle great. Because it wasn't just, oh yeah, it just grew like that. This is just my hair. 
but it was like you thinking about how you want to look, being brave enough to communicate that, and then just get the hairstyle. So if this is um, the timer that I have another 20 minutes before I need to go. But yeah, so I am a huge advocate for hairstyle changes because in the end, it always, at least me, it always makes me feel better because I was brave enough to do a change, if that makes sense. And even though it's just hair and it's honestly not that deep, but still like doing a change for yourself is always a good feeling. So I'm actually, I'm, I'm so excited, but I'm also like obviously scared that it's gonna look bad. Okay, I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna bring the camera to the hairdresser. So hopefully we're gonna get some footage. Are you guys ready? This is my new hair and I'm obsessed with it. I still need to get used to it a bit, but overall it's exactly what I asked for. So I'm actually really, really happy with it. He put in a bunch of layers just like I asked him to. So this is now my shortest layer up here. And I'm also happy that we like kept the length. He just cut off a little bit so that my hair would be healthy. But, but um, yeah, uh, I wanted to like keep kind of the length that I had. But yeah, let me give you a 360 and then we're moving on from this whole hair topic. I just took a two hour nap. It is almost 4 p.m. And that nap, oh my God. I hate taking naps during the day because of that, I can't get up. I am awake now, so we can do something. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I wanted to bake for the longest time, um, probably for around a month, but I've never got around to actually bake. So I thought we're gonna bake today. I'm 
sorry that I'm looking at myself so much, but I'm just really, really nervous. You know what I like? Also random, but I like the packaging design of the Rema products. They usually have like very cute pastel colors, and I think it's adorable. Look, that's a cute packaging. This was so expensive. This is like almost three euros per pack. I should have just bought one now that I think about it, but whatever. It's a 